Okay, and uh, the CJ, this is a very short video tutorial for you on um, how to start your reseller business. I mean, we're, uh, we're Boston reseller business. As you can see, I've logged into my Namecheap account, Domino Nost, and then here is where you can register a domain. So let's as you want to register EJ dot um, dot bees something like that so you just type pj here and dot bees search for it and since we have typed the dot bees then you click on okay then you search for it as you can see it's searching the internet is a bit slow Okay, EJ.biz is available. So if it is dot, dot com has been taken, dot net has been is available. So if it is dot biz, you won't just check it here and you click on add to cart. Great, as you can see, the total cost of it is ten dollars twenty six cents. So you scroll down for now. Our free risk guide guide is free for now. The normal fee is two dollar eighty eight cents. If you're interested, you can do whatever with it. So you click on Express Checkout. You can click on it here. You click on it here. So you will be brought here where you need to check out to make payments. You can fund your Namecheap account at it. That is hard money to your Namecheap account online. So. As you can see, I have some change, like 59 cents in my um, name chip account. You can use your credit card to make payments. As you can see, my credit card is credit card is registered already, and you can use paper as it is now. If it is my credit card that will be used, if it is my credit card that will be used, all you need to do is click on pay with credit card as it is. I cannot click on it because anything I do from here is irreversible. If I click on pay with credit card, it is going to deduct the money from my um, Nara MasterCard automatically. So as it is, that is how to register your domain name with Namecheap. So I'll be going back to the home page now. Now to go back to my home page, I'll just click on this, their logo to go back and I'll be teaching you how to uh, direct your how to direct your point your domain name to your hosting provider so from here you click on uh, domains manage domains okay let me this is my second um, name chip account so let me use this one as an example. Let's assume um, um, usecollege.info is the domain name we just registered and we just want to point, let's assume we want to point it to our uh, web hosting provider. All you need to do is just click on it. Click on it. Once you click on it, you'll be brought here. And when, once you are brought here, Modify domain is college.info. So you click on domain name server setup, click on it. So once you click on it, you'll be brought here. Specify use name chip hosting and DNS server. If you click on it, it will make use of that of name chip. As you can see, it's changed automatically. So specify custom DNS server that is your own DNS server. So we check on here, remove this one. NS1 my Swift host dot com and NS2 my Swift host dot com. So that is how it is done. And once you are done with once you are done with that click on save changes 
so you have automatically pointed the domain name to your hosting provider that is how that is done that one is done so the next thing we'll be doing is we'll be going to our web hosting manager from our web hosting C panel. Do you get what I'm saying? As you can see, I'm in your um, web hosting manager now. The first thing you will do when you log into your web hosting manager is you create a package. Maybe you want to add uh, the silver package or the diamond, the, 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 the diamond, sorry. If you want to add a bronze package, a silver package, or a gold, golden package, click on packages. Add a package. So you'll be requested to input the package in. Let's call this one bronze. What can, well, what is the disk quota you want to add to it? Give it. Let's since it is bronze, let's make it ten megabytes. 10 megabytes, the boundaries should be 100. This is just an example. You can give it any anything you want. The maximum FTP account, let's give it 10. The maximum email address, let's make it um, let's make it 10 as well because everything I'll be doing here, I'll be making them 10, 10. So you can edit it to your to your choice. So the maximum database that can be created on it is, I'll be using 10. 10. Scroll down. So maximum subdomain, 10. Maximum part, 10. 10. So don't worry about that. So you can enable the front page extension and the share. Don't have access to that. So once you are done, look here. You know, this is the language area. Please leave this one to be English. Now you click on add package. So success, we have successfully created a package for our web hosting bees. So if you want to add another package, you just come to this side, as you can see packages, click on add a new package. If you want to add a new one, let's say this one, we want to add now a silver, but I'm not gonna continue this just to tell you the same process you used when adding the bronze is what you use to add the silver. So as it is now, we want to set up an account. So you come down here under account functions, create a new account. So you click on create a new account. Now remember the domain name we used here is use college.info come back to the web hosting manager use college.info it will automatically create the username for you so you can change it as you can see the username is created automatically use call so the password always make use of password generator for security reasons click on advanced both alpha character check on both non alpha characters check on both both and you can make it something like the length should be 15 you can make it 10 depending on your choice both security reasons i make it of 15 to 20 length so generate passwords i love something add to detect so once you once you have generated your password, you right click to copy. Copy it and check here. I have copied this password in a safe place. Then you use password. Okay, then you input the email address. This is optional, but preferably you can add an email address. So 
so you will be required to choose a package remember when we started we created a force package that is called bronze so it will reflect here okay choose a package so this is it ej underscore bronze so if it is silver you will see silver if it is bronze you see everything there in so you click on it then the local English leave it as English do not change it it may be difficult to revert it if you change it to other language okay scroll down enable the game on this account do not worry about this one don't just worry then use the name server specify at the domain registrar remember when we're creating this, this account we use ns1 myswiftos.com and ns2 myswiftos so as it is check this area and always make it soft. automatically detect configuration recommended so scroll down that is all then click on create we're about creating our account you can save the password if you want to we are setting up the accounts great we have automatically created the account this is the account use college info and this is the username and password okay what we'll be doing now is we want to go to this use college info C panel let's open a new tab use college info slash C panel the username is use call and the password let's go back to this place to copy it make sure you save the password whenever make sure you save this data whenever you create an account so let's copy this password and paste it here then click on login great as you can see we have been able to create the account and this is the disk space 10 megabytes and this is the bandwidth 100 megabytes remember i told you the other time that creating a uh, a c panel from web hosting manager is not difficult so if there's anything you want me to do for you please always get back to me thank you god bless